Hi, I did a video to explain how we can make an Ecovacs robot vacuum work with Home Assistant and Bumper. That was a very basic setup where it was not possible to select rooms to clean or to select custom areas to clean. Today we will discuss how we can set up and use Lovelace vacuum map card to select custom areas to clean for the Ecovacs vacuum. To use this card, we need Home Assistant Community Store or Hacks. If Hacks is already installed on your Home Assistant, you can skip to next chapter. To set up Hacks, we will open the download link given in description. This will show you the prerequisites, so please make sure you read this carefully. We will click next button to open the download page. Depending on your Home Assistant setup, you can follow the instructions. I have Home Assistant container, so we will follow instructions for the container. We will go to Linux machine where Home Assistant container is set up and we will open a terminal. We'll use the docker exit command to access Home Assistant container terminal. The command is given in description. If name of your Home Assistant container is different, then you need to change it in the command. Once the Home Assistant terminal opens, we will run the hex download script in this terminal. The script will download and install Hex. And now we will restart Home Assistant. After restart, we will open the devices and services and add Hex integration. We need to select all checkboxes except last one, which is optional. Next, we need to open the GitHub link to put the authorization code. You need a GitHub account for that. Once authorization is done, Hex integration will be added and will also show in the Home Assistant sidebar. Let's move to setup of Lovelace Vacuum Card. We will open Hex from Home Assistant sidebar. Note that I am using latest version of Hex, which has a different UI. So you may need to update Hex or follow steps based on your Hex UI. We'll search for Vacuum in search field and then select the Xiaomi Vacuum Map Card. Click download and wait for completion of download. Click reload button to reload browser when asked. Now the vacuum card has been set up and is available for use. Next, we need to get the coordinates for rooms defined in vacuum map. We will create a temporary script in Home Assistant to help get room coordinates for rooms defined in vacuum map. You can get the script from URL given in description. Add a new script in Home Assistant and then edit the script YAML. Replace the YAML with the script you got from the description URL. You need to change the entity ID to match your vacuum entity. Now we will create a new dashboard called Ecovacs. We will add a card on this dashboard for the script we created. Next, we will restart Home Assistant container and wait for it to be ready. Then we will restart the bumper container and wait for it to be ready. It is important to restart the containers in this order. After this, we will open the bumper server status page to confirm that Home Assistant and the vacuum are connected to bumper. Server status page URL format is in description. Next, we will enable debug logging for the Ecovacs integration. Now we will go to default dashboard and open the vacuum attributes. We'll copy list of rooms to notepad and build a comma separated list of room numbers. Now we will go to Ecovacs dashboard and run the card for our script. We will copy the rooms list to rooms field of the script card and click run. We'll let the vacuum run for around a minute and then send it back to the dock. We will wait until vacuum is docked. Now we will disable debug logging for Ecovacs integration. The debug log file will be downloaded. We will search for the text map set type dot rooms in the log file. We now have the map coordinates for all rooms in the vacuum map. Now we will copy the vacuum map image to Home Assistant. First, we will open the default dashboard and take a screen capture of the vacuum map. If the map is showing the last clean run, we can start a new vacuum run and then immediately send the vacuum back to dock. This gives us a clean map. We will crop map image to eliminate any border areas and then save it. We will reference this map image while configuring the vacuum card. We'll copy the image file to Linux machine and change its permissions to allow access to others group. Then we will use docker copy command given in description to copy the image file 
to www subfolder of home assistant configuration folder we need to define calibration points that allow the vacuum card to relate points on map image to points on the actual vacuum map we have already collected the debug log that has coordinates for the rooms in vacuum map. We need to copy these coordinates to CSV files so we can later import these in a plotting tool. Create an Excel document called data. Open the Excel document and select first cell of the sheet. Change the format of this cell to text. Open the debug log file that we created earlier for rooms coordinates. Search for the text map set type dot rooms in the file to get list of all room coordinates go to the first result in the log file and copy the coordinates paste the coordinates in the first cell of excel sheet next go to the data tab in excel and open the text to columns dialog select delimited option and click next select semicolon under delimiters and uncheck other options click next Select all the columns in data preview box and then select text under column data format. Click finish. Now all the points in the room coordinates are split to their own cells. At this point, click save button to save the data Excel sheet. We will reuse this sheet for other rooms later. We will now create a CSV file and copy the coordinates to this file. First create a text file named after the room. Change the extension of the file to .csv. Open the CSV file in Excel. Select and copy all the cells from the data Excel sheet. Switch to CSV sheet. Right click the second cell in the CSV sheet and go to paste special menu. Click the transpose option from the menu to copy all the points to separate rows. Add the text X comma Y in the first cell of the CSV sheet as the heading. Select the column and open text to columns dialog on the data tab. With delimited options selected, click next. Select comma under delimiters and uncheck other options. Click next. Select all the columns in the data preview box and then select text under column data format. Click finish. Go to file menu and click save as. Select CSV comma delimited format from drop down. Browse to folder where your CSV file is located and click save. Click yes to replace the existing file. Now the room coordinates are ready for import in plotting tool. We need to repeat following steps for all remaining room coordinates to get separate CSV file for each room. Click on any room coordinates cell in the data sheet. Use Ctrl plus A to select all coordinate cells and delete these cells. Go to next result in the log file and copy the coordinates. Paste the coordinates in first cell of the data sheet. The coordinates will be automatically split into multiple cells this time. Now we can repeat the steps to create the CSV file and to copy the coordinates for this room to the CSV file. Next step is to plot coordinates of the rooms in ZGrapher plotting tool. The ZGrapher tool download link is given in description. We will download the Windows version of the tool. The download binary is a self-extracting archive. Extract it in a folder. Run ZGrapher.exe. Click FX icon to open plot window. Go to data tab. The steps that follow need to be performed for each CSV file. So the whole map is plotted in the end. Click Add and then click Table. Click Import and then use Browse button to select a room coordinates CSV. Click Open and then click Open again. Close the Data Fill window. Click Pencil icon next to Table button. Make sure Points and Segments checkboxes are selected. Once all CSV files are processed, close the Plot window. All coordinates should now be plotted. You may need to zoom in to see plotted regions. We need to select four points to be used as calibration points. Select a point that we can easily match on the plotted coordinates and on the map image. Note down the point coordinates from map image. The point we have selected is 469,25. On ZGrapher, zoom in the plotted data to locate the exact coordinates for the selected point and note down the coordinates. 
the point coordinates are 6, 2, 5, 0, comma, minus 100. Repeat the steps for three more points and note down the coordinates. For the plotted coordinates and map image we are using, the four calibration points are shown on the screen. The point with the heading vacuum is from the plotted coordinates and the point with the heading map is corresponding point from the map image. We will now add the vacuum card to the Ecovax dashboard. Edit the dashboard and remove the card for the temporary script we created earlier. Now add a vertical stack card to dashboard. In the vertical stack card configuration window, find and add the vacuum map card. Set title to match your vacuum name. We will set it to dbot osmo920. Select your vacuum entity in the vacuum entity dropdown. Select send underscore command in the vacuum platform dropdown. Leave camera entity empty. We will set it manually. Click plus button to add a picture card to vertical stack card configuration. Clear the image path field. If you see a warning about map underscore source, you can ignore it. In the image entity dropdown, select the image entity of your vacuum. Click save button to close the vertical stack card configuration. Open raw configuration editor for the dashboard. Under vacuum underscore platform, add map underscore source item and set its image property to slash local slash map dot png. This will set the map underscore source to point to the vacuum map image we copied to www subfolder of home assistant. Add calibration underscore source item under map underscore source. Add calibration underscore points under the calibration underscore source item and copy the calibration points that we selected earlier. Make sure to use proper indentation according to rules of YAML. Otherwise, the config will not save or it will not work. Save the changes and close the edit configuration view. Click done to complete the dashboard editing. Now we have the vacuum card on top and the picture card at bottom with the vacuum map image entity. The image entity will show the real-time vacuum cleaning progress just like it shows on the Ecovacs home app. The vacuum map card shows the zone cleanup and pin and go modes but these do nothing at this point. We will now set up the zone cleanup mode of the vacuum map card so we can select custom areas to clean. Edit the Ecovax dashboard in raw configuration editor. Add map underscore modes item under map underscore source item. Add the zones YAML config under the map underscore modes item. The URL in description provides link to the complete YAML configuration for the Ecovax dashboard. You can copy the zones YAML config from the URL. Save the changes and close the edit configuration view. Click done to complete the dashboard editing. You will notice that the zone cleanup and pin and go modes dropdown has now disappeared. Go to home assistant settings and then open automations and scenes. Go to scripts tab. Click add script and then click create new script. Add a new field named coordinate. Type of the field should be text. Add another field named repeats. Type of the field should be text. Now add a new call service action. Select vacuum.send underscore command in service dropdown. Type custom underscore area in the command field. In parameters field, set the parameters as shown on the screen. You can get complete YAML of the script from the URL given in description. Go to edit in YAML to edit the script manually. Add the entity underscore ID property under the data item. Point it to your Ecovax vacuum entity. It is important to add this property under data. Without this, the vacuum map image that we added on Ecovax dashboard will not show the real-time cleaning progress. Save the script with the name clean zones. Make sure to use this name because this is the name we have used in the zones YAML config. The zone cleanup is now ready to use. 
we can use it to clean a custom area. Go to Ecovax dashboard. Use the plus button to add a rectangle to the vacuum card map. Move the rectangle to desired clean area and resize it to mark the custom area. Click the X1 button to increase the number of times this area should be cleaned. The zones YAML config we are using allows us to clean an area up to maximum of five times. Click the start button next to X1 button to start zone cleanup. Note that the vacuum map card shows another start button below. That button is to start an auto cleanup and cannot be used for zone cleanup. If all goes well, the vacuum will start cleanup of the custom area. The vacuum map image under the vacuum map card will show real-time cleaning progress. Accuracy of area selection depends on accuracy of calibration points. In later videos, we will discuss how to add more clean modes to the Lovelace vacuum map card. Thanks for watching this video. I hope this was useful for you.